Solomon. And great work at both ends of the ground today. McPhee and Lovett Murray, the Flyers. Good slick hands. The Hawks are away. It was Brown that started at Bateman. Barker and now Bateman again. Up towards Williams. Hopelessly outnumbered. But he's going to get a free for holding on against McVay. Pachoni trying to take advantage, but the umpire having nothing of it. And Mark Williams should kick his second. Yeah, well, it's great. It was good movement by the Hawks. It was nice and slick. They tried to get the ball quickly into their forward 50. And as a result, it put Mark McVeigh under enormous pressure. And he held on or, or gave Mark Williams a push in the back. And he has a chance to put Hawthorne's first goal on the board in this third quarter. Big kick this one for Mark Williams in the Hawks. And bang, he fires it through. And I didn't see any sign of the shotgun there, but the Hawks go to 6-3, 39, Essendon 10-5, 65. So maybe they're going to give something here, the Hawks. Too soft, Steve? Oh, well, it may have been just a fraction, and Williams was probably caught off balance a little bit, but the umpire was right there, Michael, and you'd need to go with the umpire. <laughs> That's a pleasant change, Steve. <laughs> Mark Williams, where's the shot? There it is, bang. He's kicked two, and the Hawks within 26 points. If they can just sneak another one here, it's going to put enormous pressure back onto the Bombers, who have failed in the last halves in several games this year. And some real eagerness there and spirit shown in the middle. And this bubbling over a little, Vandenberg. Brown thrown Great out. Great kick to Hawthorne. Get the ball, Hawks, Dixon. and move it. Now loose players, and Reese just vacated the centre circle to half forward to Thompson. Couldn't mark, no free kick there. Bolton, read it off hands very well. Kicks hurriedly though. Winderley, oh, he was taken on, must get the free kick. It was great play by Bolton to get back. Good it's a Paul Fletcher. Jason Winderley. And some blood just on the bottom lip there as he copped it oh. really hard. From Chance Bateman. And he left the golf under the blood rule. It is on everywhere in here, boys. Spot fires all over the place. And there it is, Pachoni, all McFall, oh, and Vandenberg oh. letting lefts and rights go oh, over the feet. can't do that. And here comes Welsh to remonstrate with Vandenberg. This is the 1980s revisited. Well, I tell you what, at least Hawthorne is showing a bit of spirit here. And Campbell Brown looks to be bloodied on the round the mouth as well. Dustin Fletcher getting involved. Barker stopped that pretty quickly. This is unbelievable. We haven't seen these sort of scenes for a long time in AFL football. I'm not sure this is the Olympic spirit, but it's something out there. Beaumont and Murphy all a little right cross there, was it? Former teammates. I'm sure I saw Colin Robertson in there somewhere with Tim Watson, but I'm not sure. Winderlich's all right, he's up and about. He, oh, oh, now Beaumont there just letting one go and Justin Murphy gets all Former the teammates screen. as well. Bit of jumper oh, punching, hey. Welsh going down, a bit of staging. I reckon it was the Bateman hit on Winderlich that started all that, lads. It was, it was crude. He's beat, was a bit off the ball here. And Beaumont and Murphy still going at it in the centre of the ground. Mick Rees. Let's have a look at Richie Vandenberg. He's on the right of screen there. Bang! I don't know whether any of those connected. And Chance Bateman getting involved there too. Gee. We haven't seen that for a while, Steve. No, we haven't. I'm not sure the umpires know what down. to do. And yes. McFeed's bloody to the eye there. McFeed's caught one. He'll have to go up into the blood rule. He'll be about the fifth coming off with the blood rule. There's already been two come off. Windelick limping to the boundary line now. Look, if play can't go on, surely play can't go on under the blood rule if someone's coming from the ground, Andrew. No, that's right, Michael. They're supposed to stop play. You're dead right. So Hodges got it at half back. Chips out wide. Jacobs. Short. Can the Hawks respond here? They've come out firing in this third quarter. Bateman, long to full forward. Barker pushed out, was he? Wellman getting back. Chance for McVeigh. They're under pressure. Good tackle, Lekas. 
Williams getting involved. Lekas trying to get a kick from the congestion. Now Barker in space. Well tackled. Somehow gets a handball out wide towards Reese. He's tied up and the umpires have got to get control pretty quickly here. It's on again in the pocket. Well, be this some, is unbelievable. There'll be plenty of tight boys out there when you wrestle like this and there is a scrap. You'll find there are a number of errors. Plays get tied. Very tied. Umpire calls play on and Wellman takes it. Jason Johnson and then cops one from Osborne. Will it be 50? Yes, it will. And that will hurt the Hawks. Plenty going oh, on. There's Murphy the in Beaumont. And there was a little right open hand cross. Looking forward to the tribunal on Tuesday. I'll tell you what, Ian Robertson's going to have a very, very busy weekend. Just one footnote to that. Adam McClee came off the ground and had the right act read to him by the Essendon bench. Johnson with some momentum sets it up one on one extraordinarily. It could be one on one in the square. Then Lloyd takes the mark and kicks the goal. And that is an indictment on the Hawthorne defence. Well, Nathan Thompson. Nathan Thompson was, I think, on the ball at the time. And Everett's in the centre square as well. I think players just too tight. They, the they just didn't get back, Steve. I, back made to the mention, goal line. I made mention after you're in a scrap like that, it gets physical. But what goes is your power and your legs. And those Hawthorne taller players could not push back and support their teammates. And you can see Bruce O'Connor, the physio there, taking Adam McPhee off the ground, almost shoving him off the ground. Mm -hmm. it, it was him, Hutto, that actually gave it to Adam McPhee, just explaining that what he did out there was not what was required. Well, McPhee, back on the ground. Margin, 32 points. Matthew Lloyd, in all of that, has kicked five. He's beaten two opponents. Broden Jacobs, Pye Goldspink, restarts play, Everett, Mark Johnson, oh, Pachoni barrels him and he'll get a free kick. They've got to concentrate on the ball as well, so I've no doubt, yeah. and I've got no doubt that Kevin Shirty got that message to Adam McPhee. Umpires have got to keep control here, they've just lost it for the moment. Mark Johnson towards attacking 50. Fist from Everett. Kicked forward by Henneman. Oh, lands in the arms of Allen. And Matthew Allen from 30 metres and a 45 degree angle. Chance to really inflict some pain for Hawthorne. Who came out firing. And here's a bit more of... Here's Mark Johnson on Nick Holland. He gave him the nose squirts. Yeah. Well, Matthew Allen, a chance to extend the lead to the biggest in the match today. Thirty-eight points. So since that, well, almost an all-in, Steve. The bombs are kicked for Peter Swab as the bombers pile on the goals at the MCG. It's out to a fifty-four point ball game as Everett gets it to Vandenberger had his head almost ripped off and he'll get the free in the middle of the ground despite what you see on this screen it's on again it is on the wing Luke Hodge gave it to James Hurd then umpire quick to move it play goes on we'll just keep showing you the fight though because it's a little more interesting than the play here's Henneman to get a chance Beaumont up to half forward Campbell Brown looking to go backwards to find some space and find Danny Jacobs. Hemmed in against the line. Turnover. Lloyd can give it to Lucas, who will stroll in. No, he handles to Mercedes and he will stroll in. Oh, that's and got to be another kick. He's, he's going to get it. He's going to get another kick. Well, this oh. is unbelievable. And Joe Mercedes hurt. He was absolutely buried. In the motion of kicking, and he's in trouble, Joe Mercedes. Well, if it's in the motion of kicking, it, it shouldn't be another kick, well, should it? Well, I just wonder whether it's he after. wasn't there. It is. Bang. 
And the umpire, you can see, just five metres away, had a perfect view of it. Yeah, it looks a bit groggy, Joe. Oh, dear. There's Jacobs, and look at Crow. Well, Steve, what do you think? Ah, oh, well... I don't want to be labelled too soft. Is that too soft? Uh, well, I think they've just lost the... I just think they've lost the uh, plot at the moment, the Hawks. They've... Uh, They've tried to unsettle the Bombers, it hasn't worked, and uh, basically, they are not up to it. Well, amazingly, Essendon have been inside 50 six times and kicked seven goals <laughs> in this quarter. This is the uh, herd incident with Hodge. And there's Joe Mercedi. We don't often see the second free kick paid, and there's another look at Bird and Hodge. Bit of hair pulling, perhaps. Yes, Crow has come off the ground. Nick Holland going back into the Hawthorne back half. And looks like as a spare man. Free kick to Hawthorne from the centre square. 